do. These are gonna whack. Seems like Solar Flare is the least AIDS one there.
Dude, they're always 1 HP. Misclick. The box is running the uh, pillar. So I don't misclick the stupid uh zone. My brain can't handle the fact that the line is over there uh without having it shown to me in person. Thank you very much, Mello. Appreciate the endorsement. I'm getting arranged. We pray. Ow. Would you recommend Torva versus Just Eve have access to it? Yeah. Why not? I like to speed it up. Especially if it's your first cape, having the extra damage really is really, really nice. It's just a better learning experience being able to plow through the ways faster. And then also for the boss, of course. If you have Torva, I assume you also have Scythe, probably, right? So I think that would be a somewhat fair assumption. Should go over there. Uh, we just managed to tank it here. Missed that prayer. Very good play. Oh, it's on the mage. I like this more than Inferno because I don't like um, I don't like dealing with the early trash waves. They're just straight up boring. And when it comes to speedruns, I hope they keep a task off because hunting task is super cringe. I'm fine with it having a task, but this should stay task off. That's still counted middle, okay. Uh, oh, so I think here we go one off, right? Just wait. Wait. Oh, it shifts the melee. Do I have to shift it back? Ah, that's interesting. And I was thinking that might be the what would happen. Second best armor. Well, you have Justy, right? So I guess Bandos is fine too. Good old Bandos. I don't think it'll move to get me. Are we good?
It's also easier to do Inferno after you've done this anyway. Um, because you'll have the cape. Yeah, that's a lot of range damage you'll have for the Inferno. Dragon Warhammer worth for bringing for soul? Um, yeah, for speedrunners. I wouldn't really recommend it for people who are just chilling out, going for their first cape. Um, with the exception of if you are whipping, if you're going to be whipping the boss, then yeah, I would highly recommend having it. Oops, a little late there. Because you're going to be fighting it for a lot longer. How the hell did I just mage this guy for max? Dude, I can't click. Aim hard. Yeah, it's dead. We'll divine here before we... Alright. Uh, let's do something extremely illegal, I think. Oh, it's actually already solved. I don't even need to do this. It's being done. I could've just flew out here. It was just a regular solve. Oh yeah, the Fang right now has basically 100% accuracy. Regardless, it doesn't really matter for waves though. Cause you're not, when, if you're bringing Fang into the waves cause you don't have a Scythe, it's like not a good DPS anyway, and you're not, you're not in a rush to go anywhere. Number DFS, DFS is still fine. But yeah, Bulwarks is more consistent. And I'm more willing to do a one way swap to make it work. I just use it on um, Pummel and not on the block. I hated using it on block because it was just so cumbersome. It would always put, put you on like a billion to, uh, tick delay. I didn't really like it. But even on Pummel, is just so much stronger. What's a bulwark used for exactly? I'll usually shield flick it in between attacks. Or so when the minions all spawn or the whatever the monsters all spawn. Um, a lot of the time they won't come into melee range right away. They'll be like off by a little bit. They'll stand like here or here. And obviously as a melee, that's really annoying because that's where people usually default to shadow and Tebow and stuff to kill stuff. You could just whip out the bulwark for a split second, stand here for just like you know five ticks and they'll just come over and you can melee them. This is a little annoying. Hey, I'm not in a rush. We'll chill. So, look, if I needed to tank right here, right? Like, let's say the Manticore was over here, and I or whatever was over here, I would stand here for a second with Bulwark and pray Mage, Mage plus Piety, and I would just have 500 range defense, and I just need to stand there for like two seconds. More often than not, I'll be fine. It's like so consistent. Now, someone said I'm supposed to off take the Manticore by like stepping out somewhere here, let him attack, and then I run back and pray against him. You know, it looks like a lot of effort for my brain right now, so if you need me, I will be doing the classic. I should have so greeted that. I wonder if that guy sees me. 
if I fly out to kill this ranger here? I don't think so. I mean, I'm not in a rush. I can just chill here and 1v1 everything. I wonder if he sees me if I go that way. Let's just see. Nope, we're chilling. Like, I basically only know two stack solves, and it's fine. Just the Andens to solve the waves? Well, if you have Torva, I probably would just use Torva, because it's, like, so similar. And might as well have extra damage for boss, you know? But, ew, it's gonna suck. So like here, for example, chillin'. Like, I'll just tank that. How much damage did I take? A solid zero. Any reason I took dragon arrows? Honestly, I forgot I didn't have a Venator bow. It was, it was really good though, because uh, I had Echo Boots anyway, and I feel like people shouldn't own Echo Boots um, for that kind of like budget. So it was like an indirect way to downgrade to uh, Guardian Boots accidentally, but there wasn't any particular reason. If I had Venator Bow, I would definitely uh, have Dragon Arrows now. Anything behind that pillar? No, we're good. How's the boss compared to Zuck? I think the boss is harder than Zuck. But he's- and I also find him more engaging. He's a lot more realistic to zero damage than Zuck. Because, you know, Zuck has healers and stuff. Healers do so much damage. But Zuck is actually not that difficult. He's just more punishing. He's me like mechanically following the shield is much easier than I would say dealing with the slams. Personally, at least for me. People who are like really experienced with like Verzik, let's say P2, might might feel differently because they're more accustomed to Verzik type. Wow, this sucks. Um, normally we claim, but and eh, whatever. And double melee? That's so rude. Don't stab me. Please don't stab me. Thank fuck. Oh shit, what if he re-entries there? No! No! what this guy's re-entry timing is, I'll just be here in Narnia waiting. Yeah. Wait, that's permanent, right? Oopsie. That might not be good. Well, honestly, I'm happy I didn't grief the other ones. I didn't grief this one. Oh god, he has a bulwark. Bro. But you- tell me you didn't fall for the clickbait thumbnail, though. The clickbait thumbnail was too strong, wasn't it? Um, I'm pretty sure if I attack this guy again- no, I don't get maged. Um, but I only have one tile to hit with, and if I rag it, that would suck. Wait, it's wave 10, we're chilling. I could rag it. I think. I 
forgot. This major is blocking him from going that side. No. All right, we'll just go this side. Actually, it's free. Better believe I fell for the clickbait. That's right. You see 500 range defense. You have to click the thumbnail. Oops. No punish? No punish. The best kind of punish? No punish. Ay! God damn it. What's a way to click this so I don't get... Flared. I think I get hit there. So humble. Now ah, whatever, let's let it pass. Manticore oh, only. Imagine. Are they ever going to fix their ranger maxing one? Yeah, they actually are planning to, unfortunately. But, I mean, they should, to be fair. It's kind of just sitting there and getting SGS 24-7. Kind of feel bad for it almost. I think we grief some unknown tile like here. Yeah. Yeah, I could scythe the major to spill over. I think it's... A not that great DPS if I do it that way. I'm definitely not going re-entry 3. Hell, absolutely not. Okay, just a Manticore. Oh, uh, this is a legal tech right here. Look, we tank. Can't do nothing. Never any punish for my actions. Let's DPS check this a bit before the boys come out. We'll leave this guy alive in case I mess up somewhere. As long as I finish this guy off before the solar flare. Oh. Mm. Alright. Uh okay. Oh. Hold on. I did not grief. Okay, okay. Okay, I just griefed there, but it's fine. I wasn't chanced. I want you to know this. I'm above 74 HP. It was not a chance. See you, losers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then guess what? Your boy has betrayed you. He allows me to heal off him. I should have flicked this Manticore, but... Why Blade over Mace? Uh, only because I have a Bellator. I flicked the melee too early, but... This wave is so slain. What are you talking about? Okay. He's not wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm so shameless. I did an extremely illegal solve yesterday, um, where the major and the 
Minotaur were same ticked. And instead of stepping under the Minotaur, I just... Wait, let me move out of the way in case. <laughs> I just shield flicked. I don't know why I thought shield flick was the route, but it worked out perfectly fine. That you only print mage against the Manticore and hit two zeros? I mean, what do you think was going to happen? You thought I was going to get hit? How much defense do I have? You think I was going to get hit? I don't think I was going to get hit. Alright, what do we have? Well, volatility is the obvious choice here. Quartet reminder? Get off of me, man. I think I'm on one? Yeah, chillin'. Using our food. Why, hello there. May I get my pets? Oh, another day dry. There's no way they make like 24 minutes GM because, like, I'm just running around with my little door here and getting it on all my runs. It has to be like 21 to make it challenging, I think, for people more experienced. The 500 range defense was real. It's actually 500. <laughs> it's actually 500. It's so crazy. Look, look at this absolute chonker. <laughs> it's not clickbait. It's real. Also, Bellator over Alter. So, Alter is technically more dps right but it's so little um for any three by three monster that it's better just to run guardian slash echo boots and that can get the extra prayer and, def and defense for like a chill run the problem with running this setup is that you don't hit 50 with scythe so if you're trying to do um the thing where you scythe the archer underneath a monster in speed runs it doesn't work out so there is a bit of a downside to it, but for chill runs, I think it's the tech. You get hit there, but clearly it's a zero. Nice. 
Oh, this is illegal. Oh, never mind. Just settled. Fine. You've been spared. I was really about to do him dirty. How's it going, Alec? Watch, it's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna pass away. No. Sometimes if you kill the wave as the reinforcement comes out, the reinforcement will come out and then just like die without you having touched it. It'll like mourn the loss and just fade. Bullet flare. Uh, we'll go this side. Um, I hate this, so you know what? We do a little legalness. There you go. Salt. So illegal. Works every time. We could have just flew out the middle actually and timed it, but that might have required a faint bit of skill. So. You guys are here to observe the inner machinations my mind someone who's lost it all right now we'll do the regular solve i wish this guy was lined up because i think if i go for him like this i only hit the ranger once but if he was if he was standing closer to the ranger uh like over here i think i hit him twice like i can hit the ranger and hit the ranger twice and him once Oh well. Doesn't matter which pillar you use for solves. Uh, I know no monkey uses southwest. I used to use it, but then I switched to northwest. I don't even understand the Minotaur uh, safe spots for south, but I'm sure it's similar where you stand on this side. I could be wrong though, I have no idea. Uh, would you choose an altar if you had a rapier instead of cell door? Um, probably not. I think I would still do it because I just really like the defensive properties of the Echo Boots. Like, I guess uh, quite a bit. But it's completely up to you, like, if you don't want to buy Echo Boots, then yeah, go ahead. I would probably do Alter if you don't want to buy Echo Boots. Flash Guardians. We'll hit early, because this is Manticore, nothing can hit me. Uh... I don't even care. And then we'll back up so we don't get maged. The reinforcements. Do Echo Boots keep the stats? No. Um, but you use so little charges, it's fine. I think I'm on 1700 charges and I've done 20 runs with it so far. Like if you got if you got tour of money, you can you can do echoes. Oh right, I should have remembered to drag the major closer. Yeah, you really don't use that many charges because most of the time you get blasted. It's not in melee range anyway, so it doesn't consume a charge. If I killed the ranger more often, I would definitely use charges. The ranger is the one that eats up your charges. He's always just ranging you in melee range. Uh, we go for LT here for sure. Oh my god, why did I step out here?
I think we can kill this guy before reinforcements come. Maybe we can just stand here for the major and then wait for him. And once he clicks, we'll click him. Or once he puts this animation. Closer. Wave five. Yeah, we'll save for double claws in wave six to make it easy. I could use anywhere else right now. Uh, they're pretty good in TOB because I think you still hit 50 with Alter and Echo. I could be wrong. I don't know. Wait, I should probably pray ranged. Nah, fuck it. 48! I will brew. I'm just tired of it. Why did I kill my ranger? Huh. I could've just healed off him. Hold on. It's fine. And then why did I just death charge? Hey, Definitely blast three here. This is a little uncomfortable. See you losers. Hey, you're alive. Uh, I think we just chill here. The major should come out, and then I can click the melee after the mage hits me. The hammer good on boss? It's really good on boss, yeah. I do recommend having a warhammer if if you're gonna be like whipping the boss. Cause the fight is just so long if you don't do it. Although you'll be a little bit depressed if it misses, I suppose. I think I'm missing my body flick here. Yeah, I think we do some shameless tech. How do we plan this out, boys? I mean, I should pray at range because it's less likely for me to die. Alright. Make some 1v1s. Absolutely no shame in how I solve my waves. This is peaky gameplay right here. Oh, no punish, so humble. Needs to know how I get my quivers. All they need to know is that I am consistently getting my quivers. That's all you need to know. I don't think the mage sees me here, right? What's this song? I love it. Oh, let me see. Uh, I can get the link for you. Copy video URL. Yes, I just needed nobody hit Sumi. Let's see. Where is my chat?
I am in Narnia. Holy moly. Where am I? Alright. Gonna be a den starter. Make sure I'm on pummel. Hi! is an easy range tank so here's a good trick you'll always be able to make it before the man's core starts blasting see that was exactly like nine ticks or whatever before he started blasting he like charged up you can always get something in melee range before uh before the man's core starts blasting and i will just be patient because i am chilling but sanguine quit i do not i am I feel offended It took me 300 KC to get my first kit, and it was a holy kit. I was a little depressed. Do I have Vorky? How dare you. I'm still dry on Vorky. 4,000 kills. How dare you. How dare you. Let's see. Mr. Pie. Can't even see me doing Vorkaf, it's gotta be boring. I mean, it is, yeah. But back then, you know, we didn't really have a choice. Now if I get bored, I just play a different game. Mmm. Ugh. These all kind of suck. Those all the play three. So you know why I attack on that tile before the Berserker even gets to me? Because even if it gets to me, uh, we'll do... And then we'll do Mage. We'll shamelessly tank here until it gets closer. And then we will shamelessly heal any damage that we would have taken anyway. It's that easy. Where's my Myopia, man? Why choose uh, Pummel on Dens? Well, there are instances where block is just straight up better, like when you are for sure crossing a pillar. But when you're not sure... I deserve to die. So humble. Fortunately, the mage's max it's not that high. It's only 56. It's not like 70 or anything crazy. It's actually pretty rare to die. Ooh, this is rough. It would be rough, sorry, if... See, like, for example, if I'm sure I'm crossing, this would be a great chance. And then we will 1v1 this guy. Actually, don't leave kind of, like, early, though. Or late. And when you have, like, these two stacks... And they're running towards you. You can also know that this back one attacks first. In case you wanted to like solve a ranger and a major, the back one attacks first. But it makes Sol so easy doing this. Although over Mace, only because I have Beltor. Uh, I don't want to risk getting smited by this Solar Flare, so I'll just let it slide. the major so I have less time to mess this up. I do want to do some hard mode though, because I want to test out the 
Sunlight Moth Mix Tech Quartet here. Please no double melee. It's double melee, but we were blessed in that we get to pray melee. Now we'll just leave this guy alive. Get a free solve here. Oh shit. Touch me, I'm sterile. Oh. Many echo crystals and glaives. I've seen one glaive, and I've seen well, I've seen six echo crystals. I've lost three of them because after I got the cape, I started to send it. But before I got the cape, I was keeping all the echo crystal bribes. So I've seen six. Uh, oh, this one's simple. I'm missing Piety Flake. No! This best GP an hour once you can get this. It's not even close. Nah. Even if prices stayed um, consistent to release prices, like Echo Crystal, let's say 40 mil, and Glaive, like 50 mil, oh, sorry, 150 mil plus, I don't think so. It's not good enough. Dynamic duo is gonna suck. This is a ranged tank, this is free. I'm not gonna bother hitting him, because I have to attack this guy anyway. The other guy's just gonna get healed by the Minotaur. Stand here for the mage. And we'll move back. We don't have red flag anyway. And then we're chilling. You guys want to know how illegal this guy's click box is? Does my mouse look like it's anywhere near him? I don't need this heal. Save it for double claws for next wave in case it gets dicey. Not like running through the orb. Absolutely not with Solar Flare 3 on. Any command for those lion, uh, lion marker boxes? I don't have a command or anything, um, but if you look at my most recent YouTube video, uh, it's in the description of the most recent one. 
which is the commentary for uh Mortis. Where, what do we have here? Uh oh my god, can you stop giving me these terrible invos, man? I'll go for LT3. Oh, it's so free. Let the other one get a little closer. I got flared. Holy moly. Uh, this is a Manticore. Hi! Alright. Be fine here no matter what. wave you best believe my mind was going to this dense bulwark when I saw two south but then I saw they were both majors and I was like all right never mind everything is fine what how did I stop attack oh potion can't believe I almost died because I forgot javelins exist some goldfish memory right there man like he threw a javelin I dodged it and then I already forgot he could do it again Not bad. Let's see what our quartet boy is. Dude, let me use a spot, bruh.
Oops, like selecting ammo not a film. What do you mean? What do you mean not to fill? I'm very confused. A little early on the click there. At us. Oh, that's a uh, charges calculator. Oh. Oops. Yeah, that's charges calculator. Yeah, I'm just gonna reach chat with frailty three on. I don't even care. I'm saved. Well, saying it was to hit the frame, uh, the melee one, yeah. The combat triangle is guaranteed max hits. So trident works too, if you don't have a saying. Please? Sice and sayings. <laughs> I just like the holy kit copium. I surely wouldn't use the sanguine if I had it. Or farming ways for money. Um, I mean, comparison to other content, no, but it depends what you have access to, really, right? Like, if you can't feasibly do next and like high invoke Toa, then yeah, sure, you could. If you're like for some reason good enough to consistently make it through ways, then yeah, I guess it could be. That that's a very weird niche to be in, though personally. But for like early noobs, yeah. Oh, uh, farming wave one is decent money. But for like uniques and stuff, it's probably somewhere between seven to. 12 mil an hour depending on your RNG but I don't know there's just better money than that go for LT for sure Assume that's not a skip. It was a skip. Let's go. Majors in Narnia, we should be able to hit. Should have put on Dins. Might hit me. I don't even know if they were off ticked. I don't even care to check. This would be the optimal angle right here. Wait, that doesn't hit the major. For real. For 
for real, dog. What do you do when you suck at flicking? Uh, what kind of flicking? Like, one tick flicking or like some prayers? It depends what kind of flicking you mean. Like, like conserving prayer flicking? Switching prayers flicking? Why saying of a shadow? Because to make shadow work, you gotta bring a four-way switch. And I prefer to pack yakking more. Range mage NPCs. I would side with two on... Wait, what? I would side with two on side spawns. I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like you get two south spawns plus two east spawns? Is that what you're saying? Plugin for the lines. Uh, that one is just line markers on the plugin hub. Oh, okay. Um, if it's two on each side, first identify if there are like things that are different from each other. So if there's like two rangers on one side, or two, or like let's say two, two majors on one side, then one side is essentially the same. And then also think of it like this: Is a manticore? Did the uh, did the other manticore see you? If there's a manticore that hasn't seen you, pretend he's not even there. He's not a real NPC right now. With this method, so let's say, let's theoretically say we had range and something else, or like range on this side and something else, and then a manticore range on this side, right? Um, pretend he's just a ranger for the first 10 ticks, and there's no manticore there for, for 10 ticks, because the manticore has a charge, he has to see you, then charge up, which is time for you to stand here and lure these guys over uh, on the south side. Now the issue, although this is a very rare issue that happens, is if you'll have multiple NPCs kind of lined up like this on this side. Most of the time when you stand here, one of these south NPCs that's over here normally blasting you, they're going to go here instead, which essentially makes this a three stack and a one stack. If that doesn't work, you could just whip out the, that's what this sh uh, shield is for, you could just go Mr. Worldwide and run around the map praying mage, but you know, make sure you're ready to brew and stuff. See, like here, I'm, I didn't even register the Manticore as a real person. Mm, I think we could shuffle this around a bit. Nice. Uh, we could take the easiest way out here. That was not the easiest way. I was wrong. Did it work out? I'll be fine. I was supposed to do mage, and I, I don't think I've been put on fighting. What if you don't stack and run south side and major ranger spawns? I usually suck with those flicks. What do you mean if you don't stack? Oh, you mean like if you have a stack already set up and it's just like you suck with like remembering the order? I'll be honest. If you can't handle a two stack like this, let's say, like for example, this one is going to be a four prayer order. We're going to have to stand here and then move out here. It's going to be range first, then mage range melee. If you suck at handling that, you're not going to consistently make it to the boss of a good amount of supplies. I could theoretically whip out the stins right now, make it there, and probably 99% of the time be fine. But the problem is, doing this every single time you get a 2-stack is just not going to be good for your supplies. Like, you're going to go to the boss of, like, one brew, right? And, like, two restores. Like, do you really... I really wouldn't recommend that. Just take the time to try to get good at a 2-stack, if that's what you mean. Um... But what I like to do for these two stacks is remember who goes first. Always remember who goes first, so that after one person attacks, you already know who's going to go first again later. This four pair order kind of sucks, um, because he goes first. It'd be best if the Manticore goes first. Libera for Alter. Uh, Alter would be better if you're um, 
like kind of consistent with supplies because it gives you a really nice DPS boost for the boss. But Light Bear is better if you don't have the Scythe and you're not sure how your supplies are going to look like. So like here, I'm timing the Manticore after he fires, if that makes sense. So look, like he's going to fire. And then I'll start praying against the Manticore. So just try to keep that in mind, like, who's firing first in this setup. And that'll basically help you out with two solves, because you can use an NPC to time it. There's not really any secret way to avoid a two stack consistently um, without kind of like nuking your supplies. So this is like one of those critical skills you'll need for Fortis Coliseum. You want to consistently get clears. Like I've I've done meme runs where I took in like Guthins and like Dins and I just kept running worldwide every single two stack. I still made it probably like half the time, but yeah, the supplies will always look really rough. I was doing that as like a test run to see how low we could go. I misclicked the archer. Don't stab me. I'm so sorry. Stab the fuck out of me. No. Uh, so here we'll just do range. It's wave 6, so I could hit him for fun. If it was wave 7 plus, I wouldn't hit him. And that'll drag the south spawn here. I think there's a solar filler too, so we'll move out of the way. Range major. Uh, then that's what you could you could just pray mage and dip. We've made a mistake. We made a critical error. We will panic and we will run instead of trying to figure out a solution. Like a very good gamer would. Alright, great. Seems like everything is working out as planned. The pyramid shrinks. Initiate panic button. Uh, this one is just... We can just lure them out, I think. Look how illegal this clickbox is. Is this. is this anywhere near the shaman right now? This, they have to do this on burgers. There's no way they don't. I don't think they see me here, right? That one sees me. Oh, what a rat. All right. Do this. Like, so not confident with that timing right now. Jaguar, skinny. Minotaur, skinny. Colossus, skinny. Shaman, thick. Look at this. Huh? No way. That's so toxic. Dude, these are whack. Look at Blast 3. No, don't touch me, Sterile. Fuck. Lair. Uh, we should attack on this side so that guy doesn't get unstuck, actually. 
antagonist flare for this deck. Okay. We should be able to swing out once before the Minotaur spawns. I knew it would drag me like that. I'd be careful. Patience. This side, so this guy can stay stuck. Still can't see me? Nice. Gotta be really careful when you like path to make sure you run like that. Well, any way where you can stay in this zone. Hmm, I am in the middle. I am in the ICBM start zone. <laughs> it's a little awkward here. Oh no. And Solar Flare 3? Alright. Surely. Oh no. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. We run. Oh, look at that damage taken. Oh shit, the Malaysia. Don't touch me, I'm sterile. Don't stab me. Stabbed. Ah, uh, like nothing happened. Alright, this is AFK for the later. <laughs> Any shadow on melee runs? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Just having more space if you're gonna do this kind of funny business is better. I swear the shadow travel time kind of scams you when you're trying to kill Berserker fast too. Like if there's two Berserkers, you'll one-shot the first one and then the second one takes forever to die. Because the shadow's, you know, flying. You guys like my panic button strat? Melee or coded to the to avoid the fence? Probably. Maybe not on purpose. Um I think if I fly out here and do range first, I can. I can basically tank the Mance Court, so. What does that look like now? Okay. Nice. Nope. I am not dying to a javelin today. Nope. I will take my sweet time. <laughs> What does this look like now? Uh, if I fly out this side, these two see me same time. Okay, so I think we just go for the Manticore. And then the Ranger, then the Mage, right? I could have also just booked it, but it was the same solve as the two stack, so.
Yeah, there's like, if this max score is mage start, I would have no idea what to do, and I would just pull out the dins and run it like a funny man. Oh, myopia, we are happy. squeezing a hit here. Just a potty flick. Don't play. Uh, wave 9. I don't really need this guy. Let's wait for the melee-er. Do I enjoy Colson? Yeah, I think it's very fun. for a second here because this guy's not even activated. How hard would you say this content is? Um, I would give it a 8 or 9 out of 10. Pretty difficult. It is much more brute forcible. But, at the same time, you need to know kind of like the theory of when to do it in order to pull it off. Um, for me, it feels easier than other content, but I would say I'm a more experienced player. So, my opinion is I'm obviously very biased. This is a little bit rough. This start is a little bit rough. We just book it and pretend nothing happened. Praying range would probably help. This thing, this is why I saved the claws. So I didn't have it here. This would be a bit rough to kill before the Minotaur Mage comes out. Alright. Everything is fine. Same take them by accident. Wasn't a chance though, that was high HP. I can pull this guy closer by just doing this. I probably should. Wait, that guy still sees me. I'm just tanking for no reason. Oops. I didn't even stand here to bring it closer. Eh, I, I don't really mind using Bruise. It's whatever. Probably coming in with like a billion supplies. three on? I don't know. Fuck it. Alright, take another 1v1. Someone smarter than me would know how to solve that. No! What's my ranger that I left alive? Uh, 
Um, uh, fly out this way. This is a four pair order. You see how I'm basically after this guy attacks, I'm already prepped on the Manticore. You have to remember to visualize that, like, he attacks. Be ready for the Manticore. He attacks, be ready for the Manticore. Yeah, like, every time I get those demon spawns, I start worldwiding. Which is why I'm not surprised that the world record time is probably, yeah, like, six, it's 16 minutes now, right? No! Because, like, they probably actually solved the spawns. Ooh, these are rough. Um... A damage duo sucks really bad because it makes going worldwide a lot harder. So I think I'm gonna go Frailty. This is a tough call. I'm gonna go Frailty. And it paid off so well. Um, I don't think... I mean, I could probably kill this guy in time, but I don't really care to. And if he's range start, I'm just going to be annoyed. Because if he's range start, then I'll have to go back here, and I, I think with Solar Flare, I won't have enough time. Cause I'll probably get hit by it and die. Oh, there's a ranger in this wave. Yes, that's correct. An option to turn off boot effect? There is not. But you really don't use that many if you're planning on bringing it just for this. Um, I'm pretty sure here we can do range. I don't want to die testing it, so I'm just going to do mage and see if it sees me right away. It doesn't. Okay. So we can do range and then walk further out and then mage. And then pray melee here. Like, if you're not sure, just test it with the dens. Like, don't be done. Might as well have a bunch of defense in case. And I don't know how to solve this. See ya, losers. Oh, I know how to solve this. Great. But I don't know how to solve this. See ya, losers. Surely I know how to solve this. Alright. Mr. Worldwide strikes again. Skilled player, what time it flying out this way? Same tick. I ain't about that life. Alright. Mm, fly out this way, range first. Okay. And remember, he goes first. Let him attack. Wave 10, re-entry, totemic red flag. I'd go with either re-entry or red flag, personally.
I think I would rather do red flag myself, but it's completely up to you. It's... Yeah, a lot of people prefer Reentry, but I never remember. Elliot Bulwark. Uh, I think Bulwark's... Well, it's cheaper, obviously, but I would do that. Uh... Quartet is free, obviously, actually. I don't know why I'm considering the other options. Solar Flare 3, man. Holy, get off of me. I think I get hit right there. I mean, it's also my fault for not tagging them. So I can't really blame anyone but myself. But I kind of enjoy the challenge. Having them unmarked at us. Dude, I never remember. Light lag. Ooh. Mistakes were made. You know, if he had a volatility, I would have just died right there. <laughs> Completely forgot. not want to go with me. I'm lucky. I think we're on three in a row now, so getting pretty consistent. Much better than when I started streaming a few days ago, about a week ago. I like Bulwark personally more. Um, I like the one-way flick. But both are okay. D4 ping seems kind of high for me. Yeah, it is. I think this is West, though. Yeah. yeah it's, it's fine. Give a reset? Yeah, sometimes. Usually if it's an early, you know, like Doom, Doom Scorpion and Bees or something like that, or Totemic, 
yeah, I will reset. But overall, I usually don't because I'm okay with taking most invocations. Myopia definitely over Solar Flare. Should have hit off the rip there, but. I think so far, besides my gear making me lose a few ticks, I personally I think lost about four ticks so far. So I don't think I'm gonna get this skip. With the Sang, it's pretty unlikely to skip unless you just absolutely destroy that guy. Okay. Yeah, like here, I'd probably consider leaving. So, I know a lot of people don't mind volatility, but I personally really mind it. Why Dens over Ellie think it's better for tanking Ranger because you always bring Mage? Um, yeah, probably. Your range defense goes from like what, 400 with Ellie, but having percent reduction versus Dens is 500. I'm guessing Dens is a little bit better. But I mean, they're equal. Like, if you have an Ellie, then you can use it too. It's not bad. I used to tank with a DFS and it was still pretty consistent. I just found that Dins, um, if you're willing to shield flick in between attacks, lets you do even more illegal things. Also, Dins is funny. You know, 500 range defense is really good, really, really good uh, clickbait. It's not, it's not wrong though. It's actually 500 defense. All right, before anyone asks, charges calculator plugin. You don't get the dense effective if you flick it. Yeah, you don't get the reduction, but you get the 500 range defense still. So you can't flick it if you put it on block. You have to put it on pummel if you want to do illegal flicks. Uh, we do solar flare. I really hate dealing with solar flare three. Like there, like you can't do what I just did there and just pray mage and Din's flick if you have it on block. I don't even think about timing this guy. My brain does not have the time for that. That noodle's gonna cost me that, yep. I mean, he probably would've came out anyway, actually. Myopia, it's a clean run. And click. Do a little illegal tank here. Probably tank them one more than I need to, needed to. I didn't pray mage there.
So I'm using Alter. Actually, I'm using uh, Echo and Bellator, which still hits 48. A little frailty here. Frailty is really good because I'm guaranteed to get frailty one and two later. Pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty much. And since I have Solar Flare and Quartet, it's pretty guaranteed to get basically only good invocations. Oh. I'm gonna get here, hit here. But if I was using Prims, I would use Alter. So I can hit 50, that is. The Bellator 48 versus Alter 50 isn't that much DPS loss, uh, assuming you're not hammering the boss. I don't even know what the DPS loss is if you're hammering it. But without Hammer, it's very similar DPS. Same thing for Manticores and Rangers, very similar DPS. I could boost revert to Guardians, yeah, when they run out of charges. But you don't use that many charges in Coliseum. I've done 24 kills so far, and I've only used 900. And a lot of that is just because I leave the ranger up. If I wanted to kill the ranger, I wouldn't really lose that many. The ranger is the one that consumes like most of your charges in this place. Uh, myopia for sure. Save a claw for wave six. We'll path like this so we don't unlure the Manticore. Why did I stop attacking? Must have clicked the archer and killed him. I was not ready for this. Manticore saw me, but it's okay. I'm just gonna let the stack settle. Have I tried Southwest Pillar? Um, no, but I assume it works similarly. Like, you can say spot the, the Minotaur on that side. I don't know what the key difference is between the two pillars. I just assume the only thing is I'll have to start a little closer. I see my body flicks. Uh, benefits of the Echo Boots, uh, just a prayer of defense and a small bit of strength. Uh, well, if you're compar comparing it against Prims, uh, it's good if you're not losing a critical max hit. Um, Bellator makes up for it because 48 Bellator is about the same as 50 Ultor. But if you, let's say, had like a fire cape or something and you were going to drop to 47, I would still use Ultor and Prims as needed. Um, Myopia for sure here. so I don't get shanked. Please be ranged, Manticore. Nice. I just call whacked. No way, man. Right, now we'll wait for reinforcements and we'll just tank those by accident. Uh, 
Um, bruh, this guy's just kind of chilling there. I can do this, actually. I've never had the Serpent Shaman stuck there in my life. What should I use for boots if you don't have Scythe? Just Guardians, D-Boots, Prims. If you're doing a more tanky method, Guardians is probably fine. If you're planning on brute forcing, I assume... If you're not planning on brute forcing, then just use your best strength boots. It's not too big of a deal, anyway, having them. It's not usually a make it or break it kind of thing. It's just a little extra bonus that does help. If you're planning on doing a similar method to me, which is Mr. Worldwide. Blade versus Whip worth the GP. Uh, that's up to you, man. I'll probably say no. Like, you might, like, let's say you get the boss at, like, 10 HP, then you're going to be very mad at me for saying probably not, but I can't tell you the answer to that. I'm going to guess probably not. It's a lot of money. Not too much benefit, but that benefit could be the difference. My playlist... I just prayed the wrong order. Oh, I gotta focus up. Finish this guy quick. Honestly, I don't care if I tank this. I think I want to get that done before the minus response. Let me put on my playlist again. We'll hold our spec in case we need it for an emergency. What is this, Manticore? Not Mage? Dang it. Move! Oh my god. Terrible game. I must have cancelled it. I felt like I was clicking in time. I can only think I probably clicked the Manticore again. Or... Should be okay to start kind of low. We have pretty easy invocations on so far. I'll grab this diagonally. Let's go... Solar 2. Range. If this is mage, I can probably kill him. Nope. Of course not. Of course not.
I'm up to 4 KC trying for pet, but the only spec weapon I bring is SGS. I feel like I could drop a couple of brews for other swaps. I think Claws is more impactful um, if you had to pick one or the other. Reason being, you can often save more time with Claws anyway, doing things such as wave skips, more consistent wave skips. And then also... Hold on, it's gotta, gotta survive here. Like, for example, moments where you need to, like, claw something quickly. Overall, those times build up more than a uh, hammer would. That being said, if you're, like, inconsistent as the boss, but feel like you're very consistent with waves, that could be something you could do instead. But I would personally pick claws. Your mage. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? This guy first. Let's tank two mages. Yep, perfectly fine. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, they both speed up boss. Warhammer is a good bit better for boss. I'm gonna go with Claw still. They're just too diverse for waves, having them. Uh, definitely Blast 3 here. Like here, for example, right? I can double dumb claws. And there's a really good chance I kill this guy before the Minotaur comes out. Whereas normally, I would just be sitting here upset that I probably noodle my scythe and don't kill him fast enough. Please! Oh. And that was like with low rolls on the claws and a little bit on the scythe. And me taking my sweet time for this transfer. So, I think having claws uh, helps a lot, personally. Lots of you to get away with things. I mean, even if I didn't kill it there, I'd probably just run with my dins or something. It wasn't like the worst thing that could have happened. Dang it. And messing up a lot of Manticore flicks this run. My playlist break again. Seems like it did. Frailty for sure. Range. Okay, it's free. I hovered over Brew in case I got shanked. And look, now one of these guys will probably go behind the pillar. Nope. Now we're in a bit of a weird situation where we have to kill these ring. One of the rangers, and then the Minotaur will spawn. And then we'll have to kind of like get the other ranger or off tick, but this shit is fine. Ranger's a lot easier to deal with Manticore than Manticore for this. I'd be pretty depressed if it was like double Manticore here. Uh, yep. The major and the ranger were same tick. Rain requires effort to compute.
panic button. A Minotaur in Narnia, and we have a free side here. Okay. I think if I attack, he doesn't get on alert, but I could be wrong. I really don't remember. Alright, he gets he gets alert, so he's gonna heal the ranger, I'm pretty sure now. All right? Is he not in within healing distance? Maybe not. Wave everyone. Ten. Okay. Oh. Okay, so he's just being rude. Okay, he'll just heal him later. Well, this is fine. Uh, you're gonna need to drag him out. I think this is far enough. Sort of ways where should I run to pull the mobs to pillage properly? I usually run over there. Sometimes you get two on each side. I prayed melee versus range here. No punish. run over there. Sometimes you get two on this side and then two on this side. Uh, if it's two of different on each side, I usually leave or brute force one of them if they're like the low HP mobs like the majors. And when I say brute force leave, I mean I literally take all my dins and I run to a different pillar. Shuffle this around a bit. the right or left side, not the middle. What do you mean, the middle? Oh, I get flared there. I don't think anyone actually goes middle. I might be misunderstanding you. I don't, I don't think anyone actually starts middle. Uh, Solar Flare gives me a harder time at the boss. Reentry is probably the best one here that probably won't kill me. I have a Manticore. It's fine. Don't panic just because you messed up one. Here, I'm gonna do a range mage tank, and we'll just camp mage. Focus on killing this side. Make sure we get him before the Minotaur and mage come. No risk. And we'll back up here. Sometimes the melee will come, but it's off ticked usually anyway, and we're high HP, so we can tank it if we mess up Heidi. Uh, we can walk out one tick of range and then mage. is done.
How does Minotaur healing work? So if you're in melee range of the Minotaur, he won't heal anything. Um, and he can see up to like a certain amount of tiles. But for, I don't know what the exact rule is, but if he's standing here, he can't heal anything that's there. Someone might know. Uh, range start, so we'll need to off tick. So on a three stack like this with two in the front, we need to stand one away. The front one attack first. Probably needs line of sight, yeah, that's what I'm guessing, but I don't know the exact rules. basic one. This is the center tile the the monitor can see. Ah, cool. I'm pretty sure he also has a range. Like, so he has a C center and he, he's got to be like within six. Uh, Totemic is, I think, the least AIDS one here. Solar Flare is so annoying if it hits you while you're doing a parry, and I don't have tiles marked, nor do I want a tag tile, so I'd rather take Totemic here. This time the hell out of that. I don't want the sauce, man. Stop trying to laser me. The Diag tiles are, are fun. I like them more than the regular middle one.
Please! You're not lucky. You're like the only person I know who uses diagonal patterns. I mean, honestly, it's easier to remember than it is to memorize a regular one, in my opinion. Because, like, you can kind of think of it as, oh, he just did number one, I just need to move two tiles, I just need to know which direction. And then he just did number two, I just need to move one tile. It's just so simple, thinking of it like that. Is there an advantage going diag? This is easier to memorize. Um, because it's like, if he just did a number one attack, I have to move two tiles. If he just did a number two attack, I had to do one tile. It's the same concept of you have three stay spots to alternate between. But this is easier to like narrow it down quick. It removes a very small factor in the thought. And there's also a small bonus with the diag method, which is if you click early after dodging spear one, um, and it goes into spear two, you're completely safe uh, in melee distance. You're not safe in shield one, but that's a 50-50 you can take for free um, if you just go to the side and click. If you're not sure whether it's like shield one or spear two next. So there's a small, very small advantage of doing that. If you're trying to learn how to be tick perfect. I'm not tick perfect yet, of course. But Alright, so we have a boss four times in a row so far. I guess we stop when we plank. I've been getting a little bit better with the carry max. It's, it's so, it is so satisfying. Solar Flare for sure. I lost a take running, I mean walking that random tile. I hope I don't regret it. Oh, massive scythe. I think we're okay. Hmm. Roller filler two. The Narnia spawn ended up working out for us. Got ranged once, but it was humble. So here, if I had like a noodle weapon, like Blade or Zeldor and not Scythe, I'd 100% fight this mage because, oh, oops. there's a good chance I don't finish off these rangers before reinforcements arrive. So that's something to keep in mind. Oops. I can dodge like that. Thank god I'm in full Torva, not in mage gear. That was a uh, death if I was in mage gear. Tide is the best one here. I'm praying I don't get stabbed right now. Don't stab me.
did not mean to fly out like that. from the major. Let the major hit me and then we'll hit the melee. hasn't killed a boss yet if they haven't gotten there and they haven't bothered memorizing the regular method exact method or the diag method might be easier for you oh, i didn't think it would drag me out on your sh why am i moving around i like the ranger's gonna do what boss with no plan perhaps that'd probably be a bad idea but if you have fun that's okay i know a lot of people who derive a lot of fun from doing things blind and that's all that matters at the end of the day Last three is the least villainous level ranger, that's okay. Tank mage on this side. My tank of flare here, but worth. And here a prey mage, because this is wave six. I could have hit this guy once while I was waiting, actually. Remember? This is a two stack where we have to walk here and then pray the one in front which is range the only thing is this melee is kind of a demon so if you don't shuffle properly every single time you do it the major will see you first or i guess same take not first so watch if i don't reshuffle here he'll see me first so i have to reshuffle by going one left Shuffle. Let 
let the stack settle. I'm willing to tank it. Mm. I don't want to fly out until I was sure. So if I killed this, this would be five, right? Five in a row. I wonder what I can get it up to. How many boss skills I can get in a row? Oh my lord, these are bad. We'll go to we'll go with solar flare. I hate it for the boss, but melee for now. Get at least one of those flicks in. Focus now. Uh, we have a mage on that side, so we'll do mage. This is why we keep our ranger alive. What's stopping you from wearing prims if I'm uh, melling everything? Uh, me. Me brute forcing half my solves. I would be a lot less tanky with prims and it'd be a little bit less consistent. And the DPS isn't high enough to warrant uh, going to prims. Prims alter, at least for me. And I'm not interested in like speed runs. Just fast chill kills. Don't even pray against range. Using Bellet? Yeah. Bellator? Having the extra, uh... Prayer... From the Echo is really nice too. Hmm, which one is the worst? Not the worst. I think Red Flag is the least offending one of these. Because this doesn't really affect stacks. Um... But it just gives you, like, a hard timer in the beginning. Also gives the most glory, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I think it's the most glory. This is a simple range tank on this side. And you see? I made it right before the Manticore fired. Works every time. Get out of here. Wave 8, just a melee. -er. If I'm gonna greet the tick, I always do it from back there. Because if I click a little early, I just end up landing here. Whereas if I grade it over here, I'll end up over here or something. Uh, this one's for you.
Small tip for people using divine combats like me. Uh, drink them in between waves so that you don't lose the prayer points from blasphemy. If possible. I won't lose DPS for it. I mean, I'll lose... Like, I'll lose the prayer points to maintain DPS, but like for this example, no reason for me to sip it here. When I can just wait, like, until I kill it. Now look, I won't lose prayer points for blasphemy. Uh, myopia, perfect. Range start. Berserkers is a little spooky. Ow. Nothing to tank on this side, so we'll just AFK. Right before they fire. Boom. Just lines up perfectly. Manticore sees you same time as Ranger, its first attack will always be the same tech as Ranger, but whether Manticore is RNG, yeah, that's that's correct. Because it's a 5 tick and 10 tick cycle, so they just end up lining up on the same tick. Uh, this side is easier for solar flare reasons. As they're leaning on this side, you can wide swing away from the solar flare. Whereas on the other side, you can't wide swing. Because they're not leading toward that side. Resolve. Now if it's range start, we can for sure kill one for free. Mage start, unlucky. It's wasted claws actually, shouldn't have wasted them. Uh yeah, I'm not that's too big brain to off ticks. That back one, I was supposed to like what walk back here and tank you for a second and go back. Fuck out of here. I'm chilling. We have red flag on. Huh? Alright. You're off tick. I almost forgot I had red flag on. Pretty sure praying mage and melee just a manticore on average makes it means I take less damage. But the potential of me getting combo KO'd is not something I want, so I'd rather tank this one mage hit. This guy sees me right now. We have the simplest 1v1.
Yeah, don't know how to solve that. You know, you know the usual. I should have prayed against the whole Manticore, but and that one too. It's fine. Oof. Gotta be more careful. We're kind of swimming in bruise. Let's not take the risk of me messing up this Manticore and dying. Five hundred range defense. You're goddamn right. It's a simple two stack stall. Let's let this pass. Mouse wheel's broken. I'm trying to zoom out. I'm just, I mean, zoom in and zooming out. No, Mr. Piety. for wave 11. This is really good. Full claws if needed. Myopia. Three, looks like. Don't click too early because I don't want to get dragged out into the major. I'm pretty sure I can just blast this guy. It'd have been safer and more guaranteed for me to kill this ranger because I have red flag and I just didn't think about that. But you know what? We'll live with our consequences later. I'm sure we'll make it. All right. Not sure what the timing looks like right now. Can you hit me so I can get animation, bro? All right. Thank you. Him healing puts it on a cooldown, his melee on a cooldown, and it freaks me the fuck out. If you were wondering what he healed, he healed my archer. Insect is OP, of course. Every time Jagex makes content, I'm looking to cheese. You know it. I bring all these brews for the tank test and the only time I brewed was because I was scared I would mess up a manticore flick I actually didn't need to brew a single time during these ways relentless is a d3 one I think I have Quartet, so I have to be careful of that as well.
Ow. Last, last me three or myopia three? Uh, myopia three for sure. I have no idea what part of the cycle I'm in. There you go. Dude, these orbs are so... These, like, things are so annoying. Uh, mess up the perfect parry there. Go for free, yeah. But Myopia 3 is be definitely a better one, because you might as well delay losing prayer as much as lo you can. Perfect parry. Oh, those were kind of annoying. Perfect parry. Five kills in a row, no deaths so far. that bad five kills saw boss one time died four times no it just means you haven't gotten there yet you'll get there eventually you think i didn't uh what's it called just know this boss when i was like you know born i practiced it a lot sure i guess like the din sec was a little bit innovative but Eventually, you get to this point, too, you know? It just comes down with practice. I might get ranged there, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. What a noodle. Definitely not skipping this. Yeah, that was a uh, extremely brute force. I think I tanked five ranges. I mean, I have a lot of PVM and a, and a decent amount of, not amazing, but I have a decent amount of Inferno experience as well. So I come in more prepared than I would say the average player going into the first Colosseum attempts. I wouldn't feel bad just because you haven't done it yet. Like, I don't feel bad when Wooks completes it before I do. I'm just like, whatever, man. I think reinforcements are gonna spawn soon. 
I wasn't sure, so I just left early. Luke's chases the fuck out of the boss and ladies. This is Giga Chat behavior. Yeah, I mean, you'll get it eventually. Like, you've seen the boss, right? So you're gonna get it at some point. I wouldn't worry about it. For some people, the boss just clicks really well. For me, it took me a lot of attempts at the boss, too. I think I took six tries to clear the boss maybe even more I honestly can't remember at this point I misclicked but luckily that is a edge core and he is humble Let's miss all of those. And that one too. Yep. You can just sleep on it. Oh, myopia. Beloved. Does the ranger see me there? I don't think he does. Maybe he sees me here. Messed up the first range, but I didn't panic. I'll tank test. I sold the flare too, so I just like didn't move there for like a hot minute. This one's the basic two stack solve. We want to just go melee range, pray against the back one first, but we'll wait until this passes. Oh, misclicked. This is where the audience would trash talk me. If we had one, Jagex? How you got a Coliseum for one guy? This is supposed to be entertainment for the people. Me upstairs. Nope. Range start. We're chilling. I ain't dodging that. 
I ain't touching that wave. I wonder how to unst- Oh wait, I can unstack this major. I'll do it later. <laughs> Rotten tomatoes, yeah. Oh my. Everything is okay. I same ticked them, and my brain couldn't comprehend unsame ticking them. I regret killing my ranger, to say the least. Whatever you will have to do. Okay. Uh, this looks to be pretty basic. We can just do this. I did not think the Manticore would see me, but it made sense because the Shaman was the only thing preventing it from seeing me. I killed my health pack, yeah. I did this to myself. It wasn't chance though, I believe I was eating every single time. Uh, so this, this is a basic I'm out here printing range and then Manticore second. to run through solar flare too yeah god dang it javelin reminder you can tile skip all the solar flares but it's harder to do with the slower ones like you said like two versus like three two is probably the most annoying one to child skip this is like a perfect layer slow and it doesn't stop on the corner like three does so good on hot not looking so hot on prayer though all right anyone want to get one take by the melee here okay humble 12 don't do it I live another day i should have brewed i did not mean to no no it worked out because i maxed on his ranger but that could have been a disaster I didn't spec for the ranger. draw those gray lines uh line marker plugin mm, this is a little rough 500 range of defense all right 
Everything is fine. See, you gotta be ready to bail. Now, this guy won't be safe spotted, unfortunately. So I gotta be kind of quick. That's what the claws were for. Because this pillar, I don't, I believe, doesn't say spot him on this side. Luckily, the monitor is very inaccurate, so it's usually not a big deal. You just hold piety and check. Almost fell for it. Tech court. I love me some Din's propaganda. I do this every year. Every new piece of content, I have to see if Din's works. And of course, ooh, cool. money. Match court. It's free. Even bother because I'm definitely not gonna kill that in time. Shockwave noise, yeah, shockwave is good. We just missed the mage and get zeroed. So humble. I'm pretty sure I missed the mage there. It didn't feel right. I mean, that's why I have my med pack here. So I messed up. We're gonna get javelins soon. the crystal to play here absolutely not anymore I would I, I would do it more but it's not like 40 mil like it used to be and I'm more confident in the boss than obviously when I first started dynamic duo is scary man take those oh it's so free this wave I forgot there's no major ah you be any harder to click. Oh. No one saw that. Please range start. Humble. God dang it. Never lucky. I don't know how to solve that wave, so I'm just gonna AFK here. I'll move here to shift the stack up to be more lined up. I have to walk back so it settles in. There's a little cubby. There you go. No! Oh. 
We've escaped getting flared. I don't think this ranger will even see me if I fly out. So I'm gonna make a call and I'm gonna fly out praying against the manticores. Not bad. Much easier to solve. Whoa, careful not to attack. We have to settle it. Save Double Claws for Wave 11, just in case we need him. With the dynamic duo, it's gonna be a little spooky. It'd be a shame if we gave you Doom, Relentless, and Red Flag. I would cash out if it was a Rallos. That's a lot of money, man. But it's not a Rallos. Uh, oh my, how AIDS. All right, we're gonna go with Solar Flare 3. I need to remember not to get Solar Flared for Dynamic Duo. Relentless is a free info, not when you go a full tank setup. I'm so out of here. Absolutely not. I wonder if I can finish this guy before the mutt. The Minotaur spawns. I'm gonna guess no. Yep. <gasps> Mr. Worldwide strikes again. <gasps> Solar Flare! Beat. I don't know what the sack is. I right, we run again. Alright, we have made it to Japan. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's so free. The flight is complete. Welcome to the one stack. Have I got a Rallus? Yeah, I have. I got it on a wave 10, like a week ago. How the fuck did you take any damage? See? Like, you're expecting no damage. Alright, I don't know what this solve is, so you guys... Oh, actually no. This isn't too bad. Uh, we just need to fly out and lure this guy out. Whee! Oh, the pyramid shrinks. The stack shrinks. Hold on, hold on, we're about to complete, we're about to complete. Oh. I love taking no fucking damage. This is great every time. Is this stack solvable? Doesn't look like it. Well. 
That does not seem to be a problem. Surely at some point, the pyramid will shrink. See, look, it shrinks. Look, look, look at it. They're powerless. They don't know what to do. This is... <laughs> We've completed... <laughs> We're going for a second trip. content um, we gotta lure this guy out somehow right I know a way ah, the flare all right oh let me not let me not fuck with that flare Look at my stamina, man. I ran out. I went from here to here to here to here to here to here to here. <laughs> uh, good stuff. You having a good time up there, soul? You tired of my shit? Not once did I drop below half health. I'm telling you, if you're if you're not din pilled, this is your uh, this is your moment. And our supplies are pretty healthy. You know, I've only used two brews. God dang it. <laughs> uh, I think we have core 10 on. What do we have? Um, volatility. I have to remember the quartet guy is gonna blow up. Get away from me. We're on a two right now. We got a little sidetrack in the cycle. I did not mean to move there. All right, we're finally back in business. Cross next, cause shield. I mean spear. We go two pack. Cross cause spear one. Nope, we'll move. We'll cross next time. After any number two, one back. After shield one, always two back. Spear one. Woo, buddy. Nice try, guy. Two back. Break these. One back after any two. After shield one, always two back. Same direction. Just spear one, cross, or go sideways to the boss. Well, that's toxic. For spear two, we go one back. Can you get this freaking thing off me, man? Solar Flight 3 is so toxic every time. But I refuse to have tile markers. Whoa. Three and now. Here? I think. Nice. We'll do the middle method here because we have more space middle. Get off of me, man. Oh, and we're out of space again. Sideways.
We'll use the metal method here. Bruh! Give me some space to work with. Oop. Volatility! Ow! Okay. We're good. Give me that echo crystal. I can't get hit, hit by it out of uh, principle. Six in a row? Oh my god. No. I'm throwing it in the coffer. Where is my glory? Right. Don't worry boys, we will be back. We just need to throw this in. Coffer must grow. It is now at 500 mil. Almost. Well, it's fine. I mean, the money's still money, right? Any tips on solving a three stack? Uh, yeah, so. See if. Oh, a ranger, mage, ranger. Oh, you can look up how to solve that stack, or you can do this. And pray mage. So it's up to you. I don't know how to solve a three stack, and I haven't bothered learning, and I probably should at some point, and I probably won't. <laughs> I usually just brute force the heck out of it and just run. I know a lot of people get very upset that I'm kind of like being allergic to learning, but I think it's also kind of funny. Uh, would you go Prims or Guardian's Boots? If you're gonna do this strat, I would probably do Guardian Boots. Um, but otherwise, Prims if you're just gonna like play it more uh, traditional and like correctly. Couldn't get one of them drag around though. Yeah, sometimes you can. Usually when you de-stack, so the way it works, if you have a three stack, like, let's say like this, right? And you start running here, you'll end up having the close one over here and then the other two will try to like fight you here. And the other two will be off tick. So you can either solve the two stack or you can solve the one stack. So, you can big take your poison there, basically. And if you do it like a th like three times in a row, eventually, let's say you have like a four or five stack, you'll eventually split it up into like a one and three. So, which is why like the around the world method kind of works eventually. And it's really funny every time. Uh, what plugin is it to ping? That's the party plugin. If you want to actually learn how to solve actual stacks, my most recent video has uh, in the description a guide by, I believe, Help Me on how to solve every single kind of stack. And you can look at that if you want to know to how to actually execute stacks and mechanically deal with them. But I'm just going to take the easy way out. Because I'm not a speedrunner. I'm going to get blasted by that range. Please don't. Whatever. Not that painful. <laughs> Person who cheese Inferno with distance is inspiring me. Good, very good. I mean, the nice thing about this method, I don't really feel so bad about doing it because Inferno, you need to bring like melee switches if you're doing that stuff. And melee switches for mo ooh, we actually skipped that. For most people, melee switches is not very efficient. Last three, this might be a skip angle because they just want to bring in ranged only, right? But for this one, you have to bring melee for the boss anyway. Alright, so this is like a minor tank duster here. But it's like still usable. But you're already in good tanky melee gear most of the time when you come to Fortis, so you might as well take advantage of it. If you don't want to learn. Like me. I don't want to learn. Alright. 
Last three, this might be a reset if we get triple bad invos here. But we'll see. I mean, the nice thing about this is that it's actually not like inconsistent. I know a lot of people don't like the Justy e tank stuff for Inferno because players tend to be inconsistent with it and I don't know about you but that looked pretty goddamn consistent to me so far. I did two laps. And I'm at six skills in a row. Can you Torvo with Bandos okay? Um... Bandos is considerably worse, but I'm sure you'll be fine with it. Maybe a little less consistent. Because this still is a lot of defense. But probably definitely do Dins. Probably definitely, yeah. 100% of the time, it works. Or, sorry, that's not the way to word. 50% of the time, it works 100% of the time. But this doesn't seem to be inconsistent at all. Torva. You probably want Guardian Boots, though. Because when I first did this method, I used to do Prim's DFS, and it was not as consistent. Oof. I'm going to just take this the easy way out. I spawn him. Different, spawn, different style spawns in mid. Um, well, it has to be different style spawns in mid, plus different style spawns in east. Uh, Manticores on east don't really count. So a lot of the time, if you have different styles, right? One of those two styles usually ends up here. If you get one of those rare events where you have two of them on the same south side, that's usually when I like to take out my dins and just leave. <laughs> Ooh, myopia. Run is saved. I forgot to put on rigor. Like here, right? If it was range or mate, if it was a ranger or a major on this side with this manticore, this manticore doesn't even charge up um, in time for this guy to get in melee range. Which is what makes this tactic so strong is that you don't even need to leave most of the time. But when you do, you're ready for it with the dins. You just pull out a one way and run. You just run that way or whatever. I don't even know why I wasted a claw on this guy. What are you saying over Shadow? Um, just so I have more space. This method, uh pushes the limit of your gear a little bit more, so having some extra brews just in case is nice. Recently, I haven't really been needing it, to be honest. It seems I can get away with Shadow, but regardless, um, not every run you're going to get Quartet where it's going to matter anyway. And not every run's going to end up with Quartet plus Double Berserkers being a problem with like Frailty and stuff. So I think overall, ooh, it's not bad, it's a good run so far. Overall, Sang is a little bit more consistent. Like, here this sucks, because now I have Quartet and Double Berserkers. I'm going to choose this side, because we have the Double Rangers. So you see, this one I got a double spawn, but I identified quickly that this is basically one spawn. Now, what we can do... Now, if you have a, any extra big monster like this, um, he will see you, so you have to be careful about rounding the corner here. Like, right here. But what we can do is take the easy way out and just leave. I could have killed him like Sam ticked it. I've gotten myself into a situation. It's fine. It is fine. It is everything is fine. Everything is fine. I turned off Pi like a moron. Everything is fine. Yes. 
No. Everything is fine. We have a situation going on. Is he even off ticked? He's not. No, I should have eaten more. No, we finally died on six in a row. Deserved though. Now that's a situation where I should have honestly DPS'd him earlier, or I should have tried to same take him with the Manticore, or I should have ran more. I should just ran more. I wonder, let me look at the replay. If I just ran up to the Rangers, I think I was fine too, right? Hold on. Oh, I don't have the pod going. Yeah, whatever. I might have been able to just a 2v1 the Rangers there and leave the Major alone. I have no idea. Oh well. You finally die. Would just issue be bandos in this case if you can't afford Torva. Um it's fine to use. I know a lot of people a lot of the more higher level PV, PVMers would disagree because you know DPS is obviously king a lot of the time. I think it's fine to use Justy for your first melee cape if you're doing a brute force method. Especially if you don't have scythe, because you're not losing as many max hits. Now, if you, let's say, for if you're like in one of those rare demographics that have a Scythe and not Torva, I would probably opt for Bandos because having max hits for Scythe matters a little bit more. And you'll be able to make it to the boss pretty often if you're playing correctly. But it's up to you, like. A BGS or a Warhammer? Um... Uh, Warhammer. The BGS has a little bit of variance where you can hit like let's say a one, and it would really suck. But hitting one Warhammer is already really good. If you don't have one, there's nothing wrong with just getting it, just using BGS though. Style using for boss, uh, aggressive. You use aggressive for pretty much everything. There's not really a, a moment to use accurate, which sucks because I don't want the strength XP. Surely you pass away. Yes, look, look. He's mourning the loss. It's gone. I'm sorry, he's gone. Berserker's too hard to click. You can't see around the corner here. I wonder if he sees around the corner here. He doesn't, it's cool. Ah! Rude. Can't believe I died on the seventh attempt. To like the dumbest mistake that had nothing to do with Dins. You like that? I 
keep dying to the boss. Um, but I feel like we'll... I'm just eating this flare right now, hold on. I feel like with the amount of mistakes I'm making, I always end up dying with at 150 HP-ish. You'll get it eventually. You know what sucks? Um, but I guess I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like the boss can just give you like the easiest specials and not punish people who are like weak in a certain certain aspect of the boss. If that makes sense. Let's say you're really good with like um, the parry mechanic but not the equipment grapple one. He might just never give you the grapple and you're just gonna have a free boss. But there's not really a good way to balance it, because if they make it a cycled boss, then you can predict it every step of the way. And I'd rather have it be a more dynamic boss than past set cycles. They should, I guess, have like some sort of way to prevent it so you can can't get the same special like four times in a row. I should have attacked his major first. This is kind of not so good. Uh, so what we could do is... Maybe we could just be patient and wait for the reinforcements, I guess. that I click on. No punish? No punish. I'm trying to get correct your movement, you get messed up, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, right? I've done that plenty of times where... I get stuck in the wrong cycle, and I'm just staying in that wrong cycle forever. Like, you move middle when you're supposed to go diagonal, let's say. And then, right afterwards, you go diagonal when you're supposed to just repeat the movement that you just did. Praying. Please don't hit me. Bring nothing again. Don't hit me. So humble. But worth, do I think it's worth bringing a remedy? Benefit remedy? No. Um, so if you feel like you're brewing too much and your stats are going down, what you should do is, and you feel like you have a lot of supplies, but you do kind of like still, obviously you're like not at the point where you're not making too many mistakes. I would recommend you go with, oh my God, these suck. You go with maybe one or two combo foods. So have like a moonlight antelope. Well, this is the exact same scenario I got into myself last time. Yeah. But this time I got hands. By hands, I mean those claws.
I should have done that last time. Oh my lord. What have I done? I forgot I can't dodge that way because of the Super Panther. It's fine. Around the world worked out pretty well. Got just a ranger coming. On this side, uh, okay. He's gonna go out flick kicking the mat, uh, the manticore here, and it'll bring out this guy. Let's take out the dins, lower possible chance of getting punished. Misclicked, did not mean to go that far. I don't know if this is out of range of the major, but typically, when you're going to when you're trying to lure it to the edge of the arena, it usually doesn't work. Um, so I'm just gonna lower it down here instead. I think it'd be easier. But of course that wouldn't work. Wait, this is the freest fight, never mind. And we're gonna shuffle this. Oh, he sees around the corner. Well. Worked out. The hardest wave has been solved. Wave six. Dynamic Duo is definitely not as good as Frailty. We have a pretty annoying triple stack here, but there is a forbidden solve we could do. Oh, never mind, it's free. Manticore got stuck. Let's go. Range against the last one, but it was a javelin. For real, yo, wave six is so much harder, in my opinion, than the other waves. I'd rather do 11 than six any day. I wonder if the Manticore sees me. Six guy hands, man. bad here. Yep, three. Tank range here temporarily. Now if this guy was like a ranger or a manticore, right? I would probably claw him so I can get him out of the way uh, before the minotaur spawns. Especially if it was like wave 10 or 11. 
I don't really need the HP off this guy, but... Manticore's random. Uh, it's random, yeah. Like, which one they pick in the beginning, yeah, it's random. This one is a triple stack, two in the front, so this is easy solved by... We want off tick? Yeah, we want off tick because he's not range starts, so we're going to start here. The front one will attack. <gasps> front one will attack first. Witness me. I meant to ping and not click. Relentless over bees. Uh, I would do that for the boss, but I probably wouldn't do it for the waves. I'd rather have bees for waves than relentless. One, because I'm doing a cheesy tank strat and giving them 100% accuracy kind of defeats the purpose of it. die from bees. I usually don't. I usually don't die to bees. Um, we want off tick, so we'll go here this time. Is that a death charge timer? Yeah. If you want the death charge timer, um, it's in the timers plugin built into Runelight. It's not on by default for some god knows reason. There's Arceus spell, and then there's, I think, Duration. I turn on Piety for that one. No problem. Oh, wait, we're on 10 now? I think we're on 10 now. No, but now we're on 9. Myopia, finally, man. Oh, it's free. Um, okay. So here we just pray against the Manticore, swing on the other Manticore, and our Dens will probably block that one range attack we tanked. I actually didn't need to... Oh, thank god I didn't claw. I was gonna say I didn't need to claw. Because it's not wave 10, I'd rather save... the claw in case it's like a dicey start for wave 10 and 11. And it's not red flag either. So there's no rush for me to call that guy. Thank god I claw stretched him. You're wasting all my money! Alright, I'll let I'll you hit me once. Running my echo charges. I'm sorry, I'm Nickelodeon. Please don't sue me.
Free. Let's go. It's like he's stuck. Let's wait for the other ranger. And they don't even get to attack before. So it's so mechanically free too. Now I'm pretty sure I can DPS this guy down before the major comes out. So I'm not going to waste claws and save him for 11. This usually works out. You can shift. We'll fly out here, playing against a Manticore. Have Dins out just in case so we don't, you know, get clapped if we messed up. Now, both stacks are free here, but this one has a four. If I go for this stack, I'll have to do range, mage, range, melee, and that's uh, more work than just doing this th set of three pairs over and over. Always take the easy route. Now we'll have to do the harder routes, unfortunately. Now luckily, because we reduced a stack, this is just a three prayer order anyway. And we messed it up anyway. Brilliant, brilliant. But we will not tilt SGS. My friend does this all the time. He gets mad and he messed up the Manticore and he will tilt SGS and then he won't have double claws if needed and then he'll wipe wave 11 if it comes down to it. So you have to be careful. Don't tilt SGS. Sprue. Safe up for blasphemy. Uh, Myopia 3 is the one you want here. Um, looks free. Alright, yeah, it's free. So we just gotta go out here, praying range. Wait for this guy. Right before the Manticore can fire, we can attack. And we wait for the major, and wave 11 is solved. It's like that. Give the, uh, the Minotaur some space, just like that, in a 3 sack. I'm pretty sure when I walk out here to tank, the ranger won't see me. The second I go out there, he will. So what I'm going to do is tank the Manticore first. Like the whole Manticore, I'm going to tank him. And then I'm going to go out praying range. And it should be fine. I'm going to pray melee.
It's the same tick manticore, so we'll take this fight. I'd rather not get another manticore involved. Learning to take easy fights like this is what makes you consistent at Colosseum because I mess up Manticores all the time and yet I'm still consistent because I make a... ow, as such. I make a conscious effort to make fights simple when possible. Let's see if we get like frailty three or something weird. Uh, no, let's not go for it. One quartet's there. All right, so we can heal up. I think we're on frailty two. Yeah, so I'm not gonna heal more than this. It, it takes a little bit of practice to get into like the Din's mindset of like, I need to run. Once you get used to it, it's gonna feel very good, very consistent. Spear one, we doge it this way. Break shit. I don't remember what this was. Nice. Freaking solar flare, man. Dodged the wrong one. That was number one. So, nope. That is not what we want to do. I still click that in time. I don't believe it. I might be lost in the sauce a little bit, but... Yeah, I'm so lost in the sauce. Alright, there you go. At least I know how to brew between every attack. That was like my worst boss in a while. No. 31. I wonder what rank I am on soul now. I haven't logged out, but let me just at least check what my current one is. 218. Ooh, and I just got eight more. I took your advice with the saying and got it first time. Landed double hammers on the boss too. Nice. Did the extra food help or did it end up not mattering? Is Dense better than Elysian in Toro for tanking? Um, I don't really know to be honest. 
because you'll take le you'll take more zeros with Dins, and I have felt more consistent with Dins than I have with Ellie. But usually before I tank and run pillars, I usually try to plan out how to tank. If that makes sense. Lucky I had 10 brews at boss. Did you end up needing all 10? <laughs> I, it might have not mattered. Maybe it did. But, but I've, 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 I do like the consistency of having all that food, though. Can you imgur your setup? Um... I don't really need any need to, but I haven't really changed. I use six. Okay, maybe it didn't matter. It may, technically it didn't end up mattering, but it might have. Uh, but yeah, this is what I use. Uh, if you want to look at it right now, screenshot. Yeah, if you want to take a you want to take a screenshot real quick, this is what it looks like right now. I take out the runes out of the Sanguine SD here. But for a first cape, you also could bank the Book of the Den and take off the Thralls, but I didn't do that for even my first KC because I don't like going slow. Uh, why play Dins over off ticking and siphoning everything? Dude, because I'm bad. <laughs> you think I know how to off tick everything? I don't. And there's also much less mar the margin of error between like off ticking and playing perfectly yes obviously gives you better times and perhaps the player might be able to if they do like a thousand kills get a faster average but here i don't even need to learn half the mechanics when it comes to like solving stacks i only need to know how to solve two stacks and i still get it with very strong consistency Bellator over alter um so alter and prims is more dps but you do lose out on both range defense as well as prayer bonus. Now the amount you lose to me, based on the DPS calcs I did, was very insignificant. I think it was less than three or four percent for every monster, or even less than that. So I just switched over to Echo. You run southeast on a four monster L stack? I don't even know what that is. Probably. Anything that's more than a two stack I usually run for my life. I just tank that range. Humble? Humble. I lost a bunch of stacks. Uh, not a stacks. Bunch of uh, ticks solving this. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably not it, Chief. But I'm gonna spec anyway. And then regret it. Yep. I should've double clawed. I would I would have made it. I'm too committed though. Killing this guy now. Last three might be a reset angle. I think I get mage here because I clicked late. That's okay. Do a brief tank test with mage. That is not Din's. Tank too long, didn't need to tank that long. Two in front and then one three plus one. Two in front and two in behind it. Uh isn't that just a square? Looks like a square. That sounds like a square. Two in front and two behind one another. It sounds like a square. What does it mean like that? Oh, that's not really well. That's more like a triangle, not really an L. A four monster stack? Is it a yeah? Is it a four monster stack? Well, it depends on the size of the monsters, right? 
for what monsters they are, really. So I won't run south in every scenario like that. There is a way to off-tick all of those, but I usually opt not to because it requires more effort and I'm... Restacked vertically than one. Oh, do you mean like two in front and then like that? I, I see what you mean, like two in front like that. Well, I'll first see if it's solvable. Like if those two, those, those two back ones are like the same thing to start, then I'll try to just do it with just like a regular, um, regular three stack, which is just, um, you know, stand here and move out. Stand here and move out. But if it's not, let's say it's like um, a Mage Manta core plus a Ranger. I know you're supposed to like technically fly out here for a tick or something. I just put on the dents and, and dip, yeah. I just disregard all of that advice and then take out the dins and dip. This is a lever. Dynamic duo pretty bad? Yeah. I would say red flag is less dangerous than dynamic duo. But dynamic duo is not bad if you have other bad things to take. Like I would sure take dynamic duo over relentless or bees or totemic. I would rather take or even for me personally, I would even take it over uh, re-entry, depending on how late the wave is. If it's wave 11, then obviously not, or 10. I'd rather take re-entry, but I'd rather not deal with re-entry for 8, 9, and 7, 8, or 9 as well. I'm not very good at remembering re-entry personally. My playlist exploded as usual. Usually, no matter what the solution is, I see if it's solvable with a two stack or a brief off tick. If it's not, then I'll usually just leave. Last two, not promising. Echo Boots only proc if you actually get hit, yes, and you need to be in melee range of a monster. But it procs on everything uh, in melee range of you, so if a ranger hit me and I was in melee range or something else, it would proc. Overall, you don't really use that many charges. Relty for sure. I'll tank the range, I don't even care. What's my thinking of using them in Colosseum? So, if I take Prims and Ultor, I'll hit 50 with Scythe, right? Now, the thing is, Bellator and Echo, you're still allowed to hit 48, and the defense, mo defensive stats of the Colosseum monsters is actually not low. Scythe is BIS, even though they're about medium-ish defense, but with medium-ish defense, Bellator is pretty much indistinguished indistinguishable DPS um, of course like for this guy and the major it is a little bit worse but those guys you don't even get max value for Scythe with anyway so with this setup you end up getting similar DPS you end up getting 
ranged defense, and four more prayer. And I thought that was a worthwhile trade-off personally, which is why I'm running. Are you doing three tick movement at the beginning of- yeah, generally, to try to time it. I get it wrong all the time just like that, but... So I usually end up waiting a tick and then I do three ticks. So I don't actually go echo for the recoil effect. It's purely for the other stats. to kill this guy before my combat runs out in combat in between the waves and not lose the prayer um i'd rather do frailty 2 delay blast me 3 as long as i can this side is mage only so we'll go that side um we can do a brief tank test here with thins. We could also off take it by going here, but this is easier. Now that being said, we do need to DPS this guy down quickly before the reinforcements arrive. We'll leave on Piety in case the melee comes. All right, we should be good here. Let him mage. Now we can go for the off tick here. This one is just go pray against Manticore. We'll let him attack. But remember, I could have also just whipped out the Dins. Would have been fine too. Most likely. But that's. If I want to play properly, I would do what I just did there. But sometimes going for a fast solution is also important, you know? If I take so long to think about that solution, it becomes unviable, which is why the Din is also good. Gotta reform our blood shard. Oh, that's upsetting, man. Iron Man, I assume. For me, I advise my friend to do... I advise my friend to start with a torture and see if he can make it to boss at least two times before he start breaking it. These are bad. I'm gonna go Frailty 3 here. I think Frailty 3 with a tank test is usually fine. It's obviously on the riskier side, but... It speaks volumes about how much I hate the other ones. Please be ranged. I will have to re-come out though. I'm gonna let him get closer. I'm not sure what his attack range is. Alright. Wait for the reinforcements.
You guys talking shit about me and clan? Let's see. Okay, not talking shit. <laughs> Joking, of course. Plan is very nice to me. So you got it with torture? That's based. I was hoping they would like add blood shards here as like a very rare reward. Imagine you're an Iron Man. That would definitely get that would definitely bribe me hell yeah if i see a blood shard i'm leaving taking that bribe any day that thing takes forever like imagine it was like the same rate as like a Rallos, so it doesn't really affect the economy bad you got a zombie axe holy super talent I tried it with a Gutten Zombie X combo, but it I wasn't good at the boss yet. I only had 2kc or 3kc when I tried it. So I would make like a ton of movements mistakes and just die. But I think I can handle it now. You're running a Light Baron, SGS with all the healing you need? Yeah. Especially if you have SGS, like it's not too bad. Not having it for boss is the main one. Love here for boss. If you still have a few shards laying around, uh, a few charges laying around, honestly, just bring it as a switch for the boss. Mm, okay, so this is a brute force angle. It could be. It'll just be off ticked, actually. Fine, I'll play the game correctly. I was about to start shield flicking with my dins, you know? I do recommend having a whip uh, switch if you can for the second part of the fight because I think he's I'm pretty sure he speeds up his things, but it doesn't really matter. Like a lot of the times you'll be able to get uh, uptime with, with whip. Love to off tick. Unfortunately, it is a four prayer order. Solar Flare 2 is less dangerous than Dynamic Duo here. The only thing that sucks, right, is I don't think I've gotten Myopia yet. So if I don't take Dynamic Duo, there's a good chance I might get screwed later. But I think it's okay. I think I'd rather go Solar Flare still. Because Dynamic Duo with Frailty 3 is extremely dangerous. Alright, this is a bit of a shit start. Leaving, bro. I'm fucking leaving. Oh, he sees me. Not happy about that. Uh, what wave are we on? Eight. Oh, I'm not even potted. Well, I'm definitely not gonna pass this DPS check. 
Well, we'll go back. You didn't see nothing. Try to not get hit by the solar flare? Oh, yes, it's free. Okay. Um, not so free. It's a weird ass stack. Okay. Uh, what, what, could, what, what could happen? I'm tanky AF, man. Nothing happens. There's no punish. There's never any punish in this world. There's punish in this world. They're off ticked. Oh, we are happy. I didn't trap the Minotaur right here. So you guys found out what I do when there's uh, double spawns on both sides. My brain explodes. And I dins. Now I click there. God dang it. No. Man, I got a lot of food. Um, what are we doing? Alright. Range mage. Okay. Oh, wait, we're going into nine. Okay. We should be okay to spec. Oh, wait. Melee range. Holy shit. Mage break ticky just in case. I think I caught the mistake. Okay, that was a javelin throw. I was about to ticky it again because I mage prayed. I just tuned in. You think a melee setup was the best? Even first first quiver? Yeah, especially if you have a tanky setup. I think it's the easiest way to do it. But, I mean, a lot of people would disagree because they got their first Cape of Shadow. Uh, this should be pretty free, even with 37, I think. You know, I really shouldn't take my chances, actually, because the Meller might just shank me. So let's just heal. Let's just heal above 40 so we don't get shanked. I believe he shanked me. Do a tank test here. I didn't pray against the Manticore. I literally just sat there like an idiot. Oh. Tank test didn't work out there. But... It was salt. No, we griefed the wave. Well, we got a lot of kills on the board today, though. We got eight. Definitely rough with uh, Frailty 3. I guess if you were going for your first cape, you'd be probably resetting if you get Frailty 3. But I'm arrogant and I won't reset. I'd rather go for it. Yeah, I solved it. Like, I had the Manticore, all to do was pray against it and kill it. But, brain froze the second I, pr I clicked. What it is. Oh well. Strong mental. Run it back. This, this pet ain't getting himself.
All right, you're getting a claws. Not missing. Not missing a uh, waypoint skip. Nice wave two skip as well. Solar flare, we'll invest to it. Looks like a mage only. Choke your pet roll, no! Unlucky man. Depressing. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Solar Flare 1, right? Better than Siphon on the 1x1. Uh, yes. If you real, if you asked why I siphed him right there, it's just because in like the earlier wave two or whatever, <laughs> it's because I swapped thinking he was already dead, and I was too lazy to click back. I figured I would just lose ticks if I just go try clicking back. Myopia. This is a great start so far. Hit an absolute noodle. Please, we're not getting the skip, are we? That doesn't want to. Doesn't want to hit right now. Please. Ah. Uh... Depression. Tebow and Venator are a lot more DPS than Seldor, but I'm not willing to commit to spaces personally. Uh, we go Manticore side here. I lied, Rangers here. Did the Ranger punished me there, I would have. Is there a range? Alright. It's free. Go for the Major though. He's the one that we might have potential time crunch. We'll save calls for wave six because it's a hard wave. Wait, I wanted them same take. Humble Javelin. <laughs> I just realized I wanted them same take. I should have gone range there. I just see your earlier message. Took me 170 times, but I finally got yesterday. Definitely improved the game on time. Oh, that's good to hear, man. 
Dance tech OP. Did you use it? Crazy. Wave 11 PB. Oh, that's good though. We'll get it eventually. Trust me, a lot of people just get stuck in wave 6 and they don't come back. Even though wave 6 is actually really difficult. I'm not. Please. Okay. I was like, if I got flared, I'd be pissed. Uh, I hope you for sure. That's a tough one, man. I'm out of here. Absolutely not. the dumb claws because I have a time crunch before these guys come out. Mage. And then click. Ally. Done. Alright. It's a little bit annoying to to bring this guy around. I'm gonna brew up and do it again. What's the optimal way to tank? Just I think a mage. The ranger will for sure see me. So I guess it's double mage melee. Done. Okay. I could probably shuffle that. Ranger, I mean Major, can't I? No. Well, I can drag him out actually, because he's in the middle over there, so he's actually out of range of it right here. Okay. I should probably pot. I would get some DPS. Alright, let's do the same tank as before. Not gonna come out. Oh, maybe I need to come out farther. It has B. Okay, how about over here at the door? Surely that would work. Nice. The word using Sally Blade? I think so. Uh, there's a lot of points where you're just going to be stuck there and the scythe just ain't, isn't gonna cut it. You can't meet like a DPS check with it. And I think it's important to be able to reach certain DPS checks if possible. Like if you have gear that helps with a DPS check, doesn't consume too many spaces, yeah, I think it's worth your slot. Instead of the line, you get Major and Ranger, yeah. That's why I, if I got Major and Ranger, I would pull out the Dins and pray Mage. But you have to react quickly, of course. Or, you know, of course, check the other side to see what the other side is. Because the other side, if you have a Mage and Ranger, let's say here, right? The other side probably has like a manticore and something else. So you can usually pull the major and the ranger, and you can either off tick from here if if you want the more proper way to play. Or because the major is so squishy, you can brute force with shield swaps if you don't want to time off taking them. Or you can go leave the dip to another pillar. Uh Blast Me 2 is the least scary one here. It relates. It's fine. Oh my, I missed click. Please, not too much punish. So much punish. Well, good thing we left our medkit alive. Ebus. 
made it to wave total shut but no supplies left oof i hope you didn't were you doing the thing where you split every single stack but that would make sense on how low your supplies for it or maybe you just messed up into the messed up earlier waves no problem though good luck on boss unless you're leaving up to you You take Sang over Shadow? Yeah, I do. I like the Sang because it gives you way more space to work with. When you're doing a more brute force strat like this, having extra space is nice to keep the runs consistent. It's probably already pretty consistent, I'll be honest, if I took Shadow. But... You never know. I need, I need more testing, I only have 30k C. Which I don't think is too accurate of a sample size. What split stacks? Split stacks just means when you run a pillar, and because like the solve is too difficult, there's too many monsters, like same take, and you're not sure how to handle it, you'll pillar run in order to change the way the stacks are presented to you so it's easier to handle. So if you're constantly doing that, oh, this is a rough one. We'll kill the Berserker, we'll Mage, we'll Dins, and we'll book it. And I, think, I think that's the right call here. Alright, this side is difficult too. We'll do it again. Missed a worldwide, we'll strike again. And then we were we were punished a bit. The major will go first. The problem here is I'm gonna brew up. The problem is that the Minotaur is coming out, so let's keep running. And luckily, not enough time for this to happen. And now we have the freest 1v1s. Let's go. Mr. Worldwide has one again. Like that one was kind of rough. I saw Ranger, Minotaur. And then range mage on the other side. Now it's like, you know, we kill Zerker and we run. That's what you gotta do. You kill Zerker and you run. <laughs> okay. Um, so this one. I mean, we could probably fly out this way. I don't know the ranger sees me right away. Oh, I could just tank the ranger. Wait, I'm dumb. I could just tank the rangers to side and drag it out. Okay. Why would I need to tank the Major? Do it again. I should have stayed there longer. Oh, I tried the saying, but it's awesome, but if I get two Zerkas, I get whacked. Yeah, that is the, definitely the scariest part about two Sang is that you get two Zerkers, you get clapped. You have to learn that if there's nothing on you, you must pray against them. Or if there's two Zerkers, do your best to try to flick until you've killed at least one. Like, flick, pray melee, until you've killed at least one of them. That would be my advice. I started doing it, and it helps a lot. It's definitely, like, the highest skill part of the Brute Force method is... If you want to round out that consistency against two Zerkers on Quartet runs, you have to pray melee. You unfortunately have to pray melee if you can in between. You can't just sit still. They're just going to destroy you through your defense because they ignore the defense. The funny thing is no one actually knows if they ignore the fence, but clearly someone... Someone at Jagex, instead of giving them a hundred, like a hundred attack, they gave them a thousand attack or something. Definitely has an extra zeros in there or something. The Dragon Warhammer is better than Claws on Max Melee. For the boss, yes, but not for the waves. 
I think having claws for waves, if you own them and a good melee setup is really important to help you really plow through some waves with like a clock. I just got shanked. Like for example, if I was on wave 10 or 11 right now, I would really be needing some claws right now before this Minotaur comes out with a potential mage, you know? But because it's wave or if I had red flag on, those two factors would make it so I'm in a more bigger rush to kill that one monster. But I think having claws is better for you. We'll test a web, uh, Void Waker special wave. It's all right. It's not really worth it. These guys have some defense, but not enough to warrant Void Waker over Claws. Claws is better because they don't have much. Wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna. Oh, Pull two stacks off here. Almost like messed up the timing on him by running under. The boss is five slash. How come the Warhammer supposed to be good? Because although he has five slash, he also has lowish crush and he has enough HP. Now the thing is, when a boss has a lot of HP, defense reduction gives you a much bigger boost to your DPS. And similarly. That's why I recommend if you have a whip, you should bring hammer because you're going to be fighting the boss for a lot longer. Generally, the longer you fight a boss, the more valuable defense reduction is. And you're not very you're not fighting the boss very long with a scythe. Uh, assuming you're not making like a quadrillion mistakes and like just not hitting the boss straight up. Which is why Claws is pretty good there because since you're not fighting it for so long, you're not really getting as much benefit off the Warhammer, but it's still really good. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I think if you had to pick, I would definitely pick Claws for the diversity of being able to solve ways fast. Oh, this is a very forbidden solve. So if you have Scythe, you can just Scythe this guy. If it's a Solar Flare 2, I would recommend just like this. I should have already started, but it's too late now. Just start um, hitting it with a one hand weapon. Otherwise, every time you leave melee range or diagonal range of this Minotaur, it'll heal the Shaman. So you have to make sure you try to kill this guy before it rotates around, or you can just full tank it and not dodge the Solar Flare. Now, if it's Solar Flare 3, it's infinitely more aids. Scythe is guaranteed to kill it eventually, so here I'll just tank it. Because now it won't heal, because I didn't move. But if I move to any other tile here, it heals it. But I could have Scythed it to death. I could have claw KO'd, yeah. Um, but the reason I didn't want to claw KO is because I want to have it for wave 11. This wave is already solved. There's no reason for me to, to complicate it and possibly only have one claw for next wave. Like if I do an around the world track because I have a bad start, double claws will bail me out.
DJ is better than Warhammer for boss. It's pretty close, but Hammer is better. If you only have one, you can just use that one. Warhammer is a little bit more ideal. Because the first spec is really high value, the second spec is like kind of meh. Uh, Solar Fire 3 or Frailty 3? Solar Fire 3 gives me a more annoying time at the boss, but I have so many brews, I think it's fine. Mm. Okay, I think if I wrap around this side, the Ranger will get stuck here and I'll just have to deal with the Major. Yep. Chillin'. No, we need to waste Claws here. Because the mage is squishy. Do I know if Sang, Ward, or can one shot Zerker? It can't, no. Hitting 50 is pretty difficult with a Sang. You would have to. I don't think you can do it at all with any setup. I think you hit like 40 something. If there is a setup that hits 50, I can guarantee you it's way too many supply. Oh. Let me not waste specs. I would rather have them for boss. Although, I'll be honest, I can probably spec this guy and then death charge and I'll have spec again anyway. Um, the lure out here. So he can't see me, so I have to do this and then Manta Core. So I think the easiest way to do this without messing up my timing is if I click this, do range, and then click this and I'm too slow, I'll get ranged again. Obviously, having the defensive stats here will help me, but easiest way to do this would probably be to control walk this one, two, three, four, and then run back. So let's try that. And I messed it up anyway. Actually, no, I got it right. I messed up the one of the prayers for the Manticore, though. Oh, I kept on range. Okay, I thought it was range start for some reason. Think so, I don't know. Let me get sub Ellie. My friend's been running Ellie. Seems alright as well. Looks like Den's is a little bit more consistent, just having a billion more defense. I'm gonna take my sweet ass time for this. the hell did I just do? I'm not taking risk on wave 11. You're out of your mind. Manticore hard, man. We have quartet on, right? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, we'll be adding it. Yeah, we'll just add on quartet. Ooh, it's a lot of shards, man. Relentless spin spots anyway, hits anyway. I'd rather 
the quartet because it doesn't deal any damage. Ow. Liber Alter? I'm actually running Bellator. Bellator because 48 max hit with Bellator and Echo is pretty similar to Prim's Alter DPS. But then I got all the defensive stacks stats. Oh, oops. Oops. Do a little trolling. Not a move diagonal. I'm dead. I should have just hit the boss. What am I doing? Holy shit. I panicked. That laser was beaming my ass. I also forgot to claw, didn't I? A lot of mistakes in that in that run. Forgot to claw, got scared because of... I didn't realize I was staying on a laser. Oh, was it a solar flare at the end? That kind of beamed me? I mean, still, I should have had it, even with all those mistakes. I just played it bad and got and panicked. Be like that sometimes. Freaking... I was like, oh, I just gotta save up and I'll survive the third hit anyway. And then I realized I lost so much HP to that laser. And I did not think to claw or hit the boss. God damn. Oh well. I get discouraged over that. It happens. I've had I've had worse deaths than that, honestly. I don't even care. Having a strong mental is important.
Don't shank me. No. Oh, he shanked me. He was humble. You think having too much anti drag has cons? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. I don't even know what my anti drag setting is, though. Definitely, I wouldn't have too much of it. I did experiment with it a long time ago to see what it was like having too much. And yeah, you can't even like move your things. And I tend to drag my stuff a lot on purpose. Like moving potions around. 10 in your video. I don't remember what it was. You can look at it right now. I have it on 9. But do whatever you're comfortable with, man. Ooh, these kind of suck, man. I'm gonna go claim. I think I'm gonna go a claim route. Seven KC six down, six deaths at sub fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes we just I just end up choking. Been running blood barrage until now with light bear, but I feel like going try to death charge no thralls. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Ancients is just full bait. I've it, it seems so not worth it with SGS. SGS is just so good, man. Even if you don't have a blood for it, I don't think Ancients is ever the play. I should probably have combo food instead of the seventh brew. If I had combo food that last kill, I also would have lived. There's a lot of ways I could have lived that last kill. But I still want to try out the 7 brews to see how... And I also need to personally be better at the boss. To, I think, validate whether like 7 is too much. I'm pretty sure 7 is way too much. I'm gonna wave two skip, please. It's where I miss it by like two ticks and regret not having shadow or to save those small ticks. Good. I think I get range there, but I'll take it. I was risk I was willing to take, and that range was unnecessary. Huge fan of having uh, some sort of offensive ring that isn't spec.
Don't like those. Not a promising run so far. If it's a reset, I'm probably just gonna take a break, go eat, and stream another day because I already got a good amount of KC to stream. What, eight? Pretty happy with it. I would like to get to a point where I can do, let's say, like 15 kills without dying. I would like to get that consistent. Honestly, I thought I had gotten the skip. Big mistake, I guess. Myopia for sure. A bit of a rough wave. This one is, seems to be. Okay, hold on. The wrong gear out, and I somehow end up running here. But, you know what? Seems like everything worked out somehow. We'll probably need to claw this to push this fast. Okay, we off take them. Bailed out by the E claws. Let's go. Um. This looks to be a Z stack on this side. And we'll swap back around. Nice. I could have also just given up and ran, and ran it. Same tick them somehow. Oh, I didn't run one away. Okay.
Okay. Artist wave. Has me beat. Good old wave six. Off take that major and ranger. Uh, yeah, so you have to stand in the middle, but one away from melee distance of the pillar. And then you fly out and you pray against the close one instead. Instead of the far one like you normally do. Player. Oh, it's free. Make sure I don't click early there and get blasted by the major. I'm gonna leave this guy alive. I think we have an illegal solve here. So what we do is... No, it's not even illegal. It's just the most legal solve ever. Take these guys for claws in case. Ended up being ranged and it was just legal. If it was a mage, I would have just clawed the heck out of that guy and then out. Um, let's see. I keep getting to boss and dying to pulls on floor and not moving properly. Yeah, it takes some time to remember to like move in between. Always fighting for arena space between um, attacks. You have to, the boss is like, um, you know, move and then eat, pray, whatever. Do mechanic. So like parry, eat, parry, if that's what you want to do. If you're like really low. Definitely take some time to get used to. A good trick for, um... A good trick for the parry timing is that you can drink a potion in between. And then when you think your potion's up, you can just parry again. And maintain that same timing for the first two parries. Definitely myopia. Uh, free solve. Double berserker's kind of scary, so then make sure I kill both. Kill is one. It's not so scary. Right before he attacks, I'll line up and be in melee range, and we're chilling. On the way here. How do we call the Berserker menu options? Uh, NPC indicators, there is a setting somewhere. I'll just leave on Pidey while I look for it. I think you're looking for this setting here, highlight menu names. Uh, this is a... This is range and then, okay. Ranges and then mid court. Move! No problem. I hope it helps. Wave eight. Prayer is not looking too hot, but definitely decent. At least for how much I like to not really flick too much possible. Honestly, I'm fine. 
probably what I'm worried about. Solar flare. All safe spotted. We'll go for the berserker. Give it a second to die, then pray mage. Needs to be range. Range makes it really easy just to focus on killing it before the Minotaur spawns. Whereas if it's Mage, then I'll have to go back and offset it. And I'm personally like... Not that fast at like getting back here to offset. So I might miss the DPS check or have to come in an extra claw. Which I would not like to do. Tough solve. Uh, two rangers, like lined up rangers, I assume. That sounds like um, if it's mage, it sounds like you want to off take them. Standard melee range. Sounds like it. And they're booking picker pillars, respectable. I mean, if it's. It's still pretty free to book if it's two rangers. You just tank the, man the manticore mage. It's not that big of a deal. Myopia 3. Definitely don't want dynamic duo. We can avoid it. We're good there. Oh, I missed that one. Actually, I should have clawed this guy because I'm on a bit of a clock right now because of the mage spawning. That's not that mage. Well, the mage didn't come here, so I got lucky. I assume you had a setup. Hold on. I just needed to solve this before I can talk. I assume you had a setup like uh, Manticore here. Range, range. Is my correct? If that was your setup, then what you wanted to do is know that the two back rangers would see you the same tick when you fly out. The manticore can see you a tick later, or the, depending how you do it. If you want them same tick, obviously you can fly out either side here. Um, but if you want it off tick, you want to get close to the pillar like this, melee range. And then you want to fly out their non-leaning side. So you see, in this case, they're all like leaning the same way because they have a funny stack. But ooh, Dex. And then you want to fly out. I believe it's usually this way. Yeah, you fly out this way. You pray against the back rangers first, and then you pray against the Manticore, and then go back to the rangers. So it's actually a four prayer order in that case. It's range, then mage range, then melee for your specific scenario that you're talking about. But yeah, booking pillar is fine too. It's not that big of a deal. If it's two rangers and one manticore, you're just tanking one manticore mage. Not that big of a deal. Just remember, when you book it, think about how, how you want to tank it. I would have personally done range for two ticks and then melee for the last tick. That way you only take the one mage hit. If you are going for the uh, book it route. Same 
same way you would off take just one basically one ranger and one manticore in the front or prayer order Kill the Meller? Yeah. That's a huge mistake people make all the time. Can't even blame you. This one's rough, but we're gonna go re-entry, because although re-entry is AIDS, I always get clapped by Solar Flare at the boss. Oh, I left a little late. I'm not gonna pray ranged. I tanked that shit. We good. Um okay, this one's a free tank. Now, Mage is really squishy. I don't think I need to claw it. In case I somehow Sam take the Minotaur and the Mage, I'd rather... Well, of course, I need to plan ahead and be ready to off-take it, but I can also just claw the shit out of it. Oh. I didn't know it would get stuck like that, but it worked out really well. Made it even easier for me. Yes, I forgot about re-entry. Doesn't matter too much, though. Luckily, they're all same tick, so it's not like I have a specific tile I'm worried about. I'm gonna leave this guy alive, because it's inevitable I mess up somewhere. I just tanked the shit out of that. Berserkers are scary, man. Most dangerous NPC in this place. Right. We have sipped one whole dose of our broom. Oh, yeah, we go Doom. Divine before Doom. Almost forgot.
that was not it. Making a lot of movement mistakes this time around. harder than the inferno i would say bosses but not the rest of the not in its entirety no i think inferno's endurance 60 waves things really gets to people so i'd say no on that and it's less brute forcible but boss i would say is harder than zuck i think zuck just makes people extremely nervous and that's why he's hard Whereas this boss doesn't really get people as nervous. Nope. You're not lucky. Is this brute forcible? Yeah. 500 range defense helps. I mean, you still gotta play kinda well, but... I think I nerd logged. Oh well. That was a good time to call it there anyway. Uh, I got six kills in a row, and I think I got nine overall at this stream. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, it was a good sesh. Uh, have a good rest of your night. I will eventually try to get ten in a row. That is the goal. I want ten in a row without dying. <laughs>